I'm really excited to talk to you about Trello today. My name is Megan Sumrall, and as a time management and productivity coach, I am always looking for systems and processes to help myself and all of my clients streamline, hashtag all the things that they've got going on to really make sure that they are focused on the right things to help skyrocket their productivity. Trello is a free tool that I am really passionate about. Now, most people are surprised when they hear that because they know of my love of paper and paper planning because I do have my own planner I've developed that I, I use every single day, week, and month. But a planner is not a great place to organize a lot of other things. So for those of you that have heard about Trello, I wanted to take just a few minutes here today and give you kind of the basic framework for what Trello is and start to paint the picture for you on all the millions of different ways that you can actually use this in your life. And again, the best thing about it is Trello is 100% free, which is wonderful. So I want you to think of Trello uh, initially as kind of a filing cabinet, if you will. There are three core components to Trello. There are Trello boards, and you might be able to think of a Trello board as like a drawer, perhaps, in a file cabinet. There are lists that live inside your boards. So a list might be an actual file folder. And then there are cards, and you can think of a card as maybe a physical piece of paper, paper in that file folder. Yes, I am dating myself. Some of you may never have worked in an office setting with file cabinets, folders, and paper. Now, just like the file cabinet, you can have multiple pieces of paper in one file folder. You can have multiple file folders in one drawer. So this is a way for you to start thinking about all the different possibilities for organizing various parts of your life and or business. So what I'm going to do right now is share my screen with you and just give you a little quick flavor of how to get started on Trello. And then I want to share with you to start getting your wheels going a bunch of different ways that you can actually leverage it. And stick with me here at the end because I've got a great offer for all of you just for checking this out as well. So let's go ahead and jump in. What you are looking at right now is a board in Trello. It's completely empty. All I did when I created my Trello account was to simply go in and say, add a board. So you can see the name up here is Megan's board. Okay, so this is kind of my, my big bucket. Now I can go in and add a list. So it, the sheer basic, one of the most common uses people will use for Trello is managing tasks and whether they are kind of their priority, whether they're in progress or they're done. So I'm gonna show you that as a basic example here in Trello. So I can come in and create this list as my to-do list. Now I can go in and add another list where maybe I wanna keep track of everything that is currently in progress. And then finally, a list for done. Now I don't need to add any more, um, but I can continue going if I need to. So here are, this is now showing three different lists. So this might be three different file folders in that drawer. So now I wanna come over here to this particular list and start adding those individual, what Trello called cards. A lot of people like to use the term task as well, um, but I'm going to share some samples with you of where, you know, it may not be tasks that you're using here for your cards. But maybe I've got a to-do list of doing some menu planning. Maybe I have a to-do list of recording a video for YouTube. <laughs> Uh, maybe I need to take the dog, make a vet appointment for the dog, so on and so forth. So you can start to see right now we have three different cards. Now I can actually open up the card and enter a bunch of more information. So I can add descriptions. There's a bunch of really cool features over here that I've got covered for you in my Trello course that walks you through how to create labels. You can add attachments. You can color code your cards. You can add due dates. 
really the possibilities are endless, but I just wanted to use this video to kind of introduce you to the concepts of Trello. So then now we're looking at here's my board, three lists and one list currently has three cards on it. Now I can choose to move these around because maybe first I want to prioritize my list, right? So maybe the recording needs to be done first, maybe the vet appointment is second most important and the menu planning is third. So you can always move these around to really help prioritize or categorize the cards that you have created. Now, another great thing is how easy it is to move a card from list to list. So maybe I'm sitting down at the beginning of my week to plan out my tasks. Uh, and as the week goes on, uh, I've actually started recording the video so I can move it to in progress. Maybe I have started actually menu planning already. And at the end of the day, I can come back in and move my video to done. So I just wanted to, again, show you how easy it is to get up and running and kind of get your head around the concepts of board versus list versus card. So this is it in a very kind of streamlined, simplistic way. Now, I wanna take a few minutes and talk you through a, a bunch of amazing ways that you can use Trello. And these are all things that I've got covered in my Trello course as well. So again, Trello is great for basic task management. You can share your board with others. So maybe you wanna have a board that you share with the members of your family to track who's doing what. You can share boards with team members. You can assign cards to one another. So perhaps maybe you have a virtual assistant that is supporting you. You can write out a bunch of tasks and the ones that, that he or she needs to work on, you can assign to them and they'll get an email notification and they can come right into Trello and get all the details that they need about that task. So it's a great way to share um, you know, task management, either just for yourself or with a group of people. Trello is also a great place to brainstorm. So maybe you're working on a big new project and you've got a bunch of ideas going around. You can throw them all out on a specific board for your tasks. <clears throat> and each card can be an idea. And then you can start grouping and moving them around together. Whenever I embark on creating a new course, Trello is exactly where I go. I start tossing out all the topics that I know I need to cover. And then as I start grouping them together, I might create a new list for what one module or category might be, a second list for another one. And I can start playing with using Trello as a really great creative space. Trello can also be used to manage your content planning. So if you do a lot of work on social media, you can use Trello for actually managing and planning ahead and repurposing your content. That is one that the, the folks that have taken my course love. I have a template all built out. So all you have to do is click on it and the whole board is built for you and you can jump right in to figuring out how you wanna plan and repurpose your content. Um, Trello is also can be used almost in lieu of an online calendar. So you can actually get free, what are called power ups in Trello that allow you to look at your tasks, not only in that list view, but they can also be displayed in a calendar view as well. So if this has your wheels going and you are excited about getting in and playing around with Trello, I would love to invite you to jump in and grab my Trello for task management, time management, organization, and productivity course. Whether you are brand new and you don't have a Trello account or someone that's playing around with it for a while and or maybe are looking to level up your Trello skills, this course is gonna be perfect for you. I start at the very beginning, assuming you don't have an account, guide you through how to get started, um, and each video is specific to one and only one piece of information. So for instance, if you already know how to use labels and you're jamming on that, the video that says how to use labels, you can just skip right over that and move on to the next one. So there's a whole getting started framework in the course, and then it jumps into advanced features. So I cover all the bells and whistles on cards. I also cover a number of power ups that are so powerful to use, including the calendar power up, the recurring task power up. And then at the end of it, I give you a bunch of scenarios and uses for Trello, including 
templates that you can go and grab for specific scenarios to help you get started really quick as well. And for those of you watching this video, I've got a link to uh, where you can go to, to grab this Trello course below. And if you put in the coupon code YouTube in all capital letters, you will get an additional 30% off of this course. It is a steal. So I can't wait to see you over in Trello. And I want to hear once you're in the course, which template is your favorite and how you maximize Trello for your specific needs.